Hello everyone! We make thousands of manual app selections in everyday's workflows. It's intuitive and requires zero to none of our effort. But if at any time you plan to make some scripting automations, first thing you must take into account is selecting items, which you normally do in graphic UI panels. And uh, you have guessed it, I will show you the main generic steps on how to achieve it through code. That said, let's jump ahead. Before we dive straight down into the scripting and since it's my first extend script tutorial here on YouTube, I would like to point out that uh, understanding of general programming techniques would be much appreciated. Extend script is built as a JavaScript framework, so if you have JavaScript experience, that would be even better. But in general, you just need to have a sense how programming works and uh, it would be fair enough to start scripting right ahead. In case if you don't have any uh, prior JavaScript experience or any other programming language experience, I would simply suggest you to take a basic course uh, on JavaScript and then you will be able to start digging the scripting from the base level. And once you get your feet wet, I believe that uh, the sky is the limit and you can do anything you would like to with scripting possibilities. All right, so on the left, we have extend script opened with an empty project, while on the right, I opened uh, some artifacts project to have visuals and uh, project structure. For this tutorial, it's irrelevant what uh, materials you will open in the artifact, so feel free to use any as you wish. One thing to point out that we will be using the latest CC 2019 version, so make sure that extend script is set up to that version as the artifacts project file. You will notice that uh, visuals of extend script. Uh, workspace will look differently on your end just because I minimized it for the tutorial purpose but uh, on your end it will look like something like this. So workspaces can be changed. To begin with, when we open a project and After Effects, it becomes a child of an application. I will break down whole item selection topic into two parts. So first will be project panel items and second comp items, which means that project panel items stands in this area, while the comp items are actually layers inside the composition. In order to access the project in first place, we need to define a variable and uh, get its value from the application. This allows us to access any items inside the project and do any interactions we want to them. In order to make sure that we access proper value, we can just write the variable down and execute script by hitting command and control R. And by executing the script, you can see that we are retrieving object of the project. This allows us to access items in the project panel without the need to actually rewrite this part every time we need to access the item in the panel or anything else. To access the first item in the panel, we will define another variable and we will be looking at the items collection in the project panel. So we will take the project variable and we will look at objects of item collection. And differently from arrays, item starts with a number of one and uh, by accessing this element, we will be getting this panel item. To make sure proper element was selected, we can define its name and try to access this object's name. In this situation, we'll be select project items. If we execute the script, we will get that name in the JavaScript console. So by now, we know how to access the project, which is opened in After Effects, and how to access any item by defining its ID. IDs in the project panel are incremental and once we have access to those items, we need to define their IDs in order to access them. There are three different types of items in the project panel. There is a composition item, footage item, which relates to any media file important in the project panel or automatically generated uh, solid, null or the adjustment type items as well as the folder. Then we look at the project panel, all the IDs of the items are incremental. In case we decide to access this folder, it would have ID of five, one, two, three, four, five. If we do that 
and uh, try to access its name, we should get object titles. I want to point out that uh, in this situation, when we're defining IDs, it's irrelevant uh, and not required to actually select any of items in the project panel. So as you can see, if I rerun this script once again, we will get another name result. By defining IDs in the items collection, we are actually accessing them directly without a need to make selection. And talking about selections, it is also possible to select multiple items in the project panel and return them as array of elements. If you want to select some items from the project panel, you just need to retrieve whole selection and then you could make any of required actions from that array of elements. So in order to do that, we will define new variable and access the project panel items by going into the project and looking at selection which is made. Accordingly, let's pick a few items. The returned item here will be an array of objects, so we can just uh, grab it and access some of them items. Let's say we will look at the second one. If you are not familiar with arrays, arrays start with zero and uh, increment from that. So the first item in the array will be with an index of zero and uh, this one will stand for a second item in selection. So if everything goes fine, we should retrieve the name of box five layer. As you can see, we retrieved box five now. We can do the same for any other item. If we do this for the second, we get grayish. If we change selection and for example, add some more elements, inside array two stands for the third item in the list. So you can see that first, second, third is box four. So we retrieved box four name as it was the third item in the selection. So we covered scenarios of accessing project panel items and now we will dive into selection of uh, layers inside the actual composition. There are three type of items inside the project panel. It's comp, footage or folder. The only comp can have a collection of layers inside of it. So in order to access the layers, we firstly would need to retrieve the composition. In this scenario, we have the first composition in the panel and it will stand as the first item for our retrievals. We can define it as comp by ID. And uh, as we previously covered, we just need to add proj look at the item collection and then pick the proper ID. In this case, it's the first one. Definitely the more complex executions, you would need to select the item and make sure that it is a type of composition in order to work through with the layers inside of it. Having composition assigned, we have a single layer inside this comp and uh, we'll try to receive its name. To do this, we just need to define the composition where we are looking for the layers and then add layer and the index which actually relates to the same index which is in the panel. So by doing this we can actually retrieve this layer name and it appears as topic prayer in the JavaScript console. This works uh, perfectly fine if we know ID of the composition in the project panel. There are always scenarios when we want to access the active composition in the After Effects. So let's go into more uh, detailed composition and see how it looks like. To access the active composition in the viewer, we will define it as current comp as its current composition opens. And we look at the project. There is a built-in function to retrieve such item with a camel case syntax. By defining this variable, we are looking at the current uh, composition opened in the viewer. And uh, if we look at its name, it shall be topic pre. As you can see, it's active in the project panel. Now, if we want to retrieve some specific layer from this uh, active composition, we take that uh, composition name and pick layers we want to look at. So let's say we would like to look at uh, the fifth one. 
and uh, it should be box free in the console. If you have a need to go through every of these layers in a loop, you just do a loop within this range as num, num layers uh, will retrieve the number of layers inside the composition. As you can see, it's 21. Just keep in mind that layers as well as items starts not from zero, but from one. So you just need to take that into account. The last one thing I would like to show you is a way to access the selection of the layers inside the composition. So uh, we have core comp selected and uh, let's say that we want to access this, this and uh, this layer. So we are all different type of uh, layers inside the composition. So we will define layers selection variable and uh, look at the core comp and pick its selected layers. It's also camel case and built-in function. Now one important thing to mention here is that if we try to look at the first array item in the selection and look at its name, you would guess that it will be control, but uh, you can see it's box four, meaning that the order of selection is maintained. If we change it to start from this and uh, select even more elements, the first item in the layer selection will always remain the same as you selected in the UI. As you can see, connect line three was the first selected layer in the composition and it maintained its order. While it took a while to explain those topics, uh, even though they are quite straightforward, I hope that uh, it will help you to understand the selection of the items in the project and uh, you will get a sense how to make automations when you have that flexibility in mind. To summarize this, we have an application and the project inside that app. Then we have items collection in the project panel, which contains comp item, footage or folder item. Remember that these are indexed in the project panel and only comp item can have layers collection. Footage item stands as a lone item in the project panel, while folder item can have its own collection. Items placed inside the folder will still remain indexed in the project panel, but we can also be accessed inside that folder only. So this is the early beginning of uh, scripting, in my opinion. And once you get a full grasp how this works, you could make any automations inside the project panel. And from that point, you know, the sky is the limit and you can do anything with that. So thanks for your time and I hope to see you around.